We know from the words of the Apostle Paul that there is only one true mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. It is in Him then that all the offices come together, prophet, priest, and king. He, 1 Timothy 2, 5, becomes the one mediator between the one God and man. Come into the New Testament, you find Jesus as a king. Even at His birth that is recognized. You find Him as a priest who provides intercession, who provides sacrifice, who Himself is the sacrifice, who reconciles sinners to God. You find Him as the prophet, the very Word of God, who speaks the truth of God and nothing but the truth of God. In the one mediator, the one Christ, all three functions combine. He rules for God. He brings men to God, and He brings the truth of God to men. Those are all mediating functions. The Westminster Shorter Catechism asks and answers the question, what offices does Christ execute? The answer, Christ as our Redeemer executes the office of a prophet, a priest, and a king, both in His estate of humiliation and exaltation. One writer puts it this way, a prophet, a priest, and a king are essential needs for man whose sin necessarily separates him from God and precludes him from approaching God on his own. With the fall came a tragic and drastic change in man and his relationship with the Lord. Iniquity separated man from God, and sin hid God's face from man. When man fell, he lost the knowledge of God that must be renewed if a man is to be saved from sin. So man needs a prophet to reveal God. When man fell, he lost the righteousness and holiness in which he was created. So man needs a priest to reconcile him to God. When man fell, he became prey to the enemy of his soul who had power to hold him subject to bondage. Man needs a king to reign, to subdue every enemy of his soul. What man needed, God in His wondrous and amazing grace provided in the person of His own dear Son, His and our Messiah.